Welcome to Financial Buzz Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker here at the New York Stock Exchange bringing you a review of this week's stock market. The beginning of the week started off as a collective holding of breath, waiting to see what comments Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen would make before Congress. On Tuesday, the wait was over with the markets rallying. Yellen stated that even though employment reports have been weak, they haven't been weak enough to halt or slow the reduction in the Fed's bond purchasing program. Citing the weather, she said it's important to take time to evaluate further data as it becomes available before the next committee meeting in March. The extra time will allow the committee to gauge the true impact of the unseasonably cold temperatures plaguing large swaths of the country. On Thursday, jobless claims for the week ending February 8th came in at 339,000, slightly higher than expected and higher than the prior week by 8,000. Also on Thursday, retail sales came in at a disappointing 0.4% decline. Analysts were expecting only a 0.1% decline. Automobile sales were the major culprit, and once again, bad weather was cited as the reason. At first, the market had a sharp drop on the news, but ended the day up modestly. Now let's take a look at some stocks. Time Warner Cable and Comcast announced early Thursday that both companies' boards of directors have approved for Time Warner to merge operations with Comcast. Under the agreement, Comcast will acquire 100% of Time Warner's outstanding shares, a transaction worth approximately $45.2 billion. Following the announcement, Time Warner shares traded to a new 52-week high of 146.18, while Comcast dipped nearly four points during Thursday trading. PepsiCo shares slipped nearly four points during Thursday's trading, even though the company reported a rise in profits. The pressure came from declining soda sale numbers in North America, as well as PepsiCo opting out of spinning off their billion-dollar snack brands Lay's, Cheetos, and Doritos. PepsiCo believed that separating their beverage and snack business would prove unbeneficial for the company as a whole. Cisco Systems shares slipped more than four points Thursday after the company released their second quarter earnings report late Wednesday. Cisco was able to beat analyst forecasts, reporting a second quarter 2014 revenue of $11.2 billion with earnings of $0.47 cents per share. However, the company reported a negative outlook for their third quarter. Tesla Motors made headlines on Thursday as the electric car stock traded above 200 at a 52-week high of 202.72 during midday. A lot of eyes are currently on Tesla as the company is scheduled to release their fourth quarter earnings report next Wednesday. Analysts have projected Tesla will report earnings of approximately 19 cents per share with 646 million in sales, a significant change compared to the year-ago loss of 65 cents per share. Angie's List stock dropped as much as 20 points on Thursday after the company announced an extremely weak forecast for their first quarter earnings report. The company expects to report sales to be between 71.5 and 72.5 million, significantly lower than analyst projections of 74.3 million. This is Financial Buzz Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker, and I'll see you again next week.